Hello, boys and girls. It is I, Mrs. Ferreira, and I am sitting on the floor in my kitchen, and it's time for another guided drawing. This time, I'm going to be guiding you through the drawing, just like we used to do in the classroom. You all know how good I am at art. I better not hear anybody laughing. I always do my best, and I hope that you do your best, too. Today's guided drawing is going to be a little picture of Mother Mary. So we're in the month of May and May is dedicated to Mary. And we've talked a little bit about that in your lessons this week and last week too. So we are gonna make a guided drawing of Mary. And just like in the classroom, if you need to stop the video, just like Mrs. Farrow would have stopped and, and paused for all of you in the classroom, you can go ahead and pause this video and take your time to do the drawing. There's no rush. Um, just like in the classroom, sometimes we needed a little bit more time. So Mrs. Ferrer would pause and we would wait a little bit. <clears throat> so to start our Mary, I'm going to have to turn the screen away from me so that I can get it close enough for you guys. But I am here and we're going to go step by step. So here is our paper. And the first thing you need to figure out is the top of the paper and the bottom of the paper. Middle of the paper. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to draw like a big smile, which is going to actually be Mary's face. And you're going to do Mary's face towards the top of the picture, not all the way up here. Bring your hand a little bit down and you're going to make a big smile shape. It's also a letter. I wonder if you can tell what letter that is. I'm not even going to tell you. Okay. So that's the first part. It's like a big smile, an upside down rainbow. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna connect both sides of your rainbow, okay? And it's gonna be straight across. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna find the bottom part of your smile and you're going to take your pencil. You can use pencil for this. Mrs. Ferris is using marker so that you can see it better, okay? You're going to take your pencil and you're going to put a line from the bottom of your smile and you're going to go down. Did I go all the way down to the bottom of my page? No. And then you're going to do it again on this side. You're going to start from the bottom of the smile and you're going to go down. Okay. Then you're going to connect those two lines. So, so far, this is what we've got. This next part, is a little tricky. So you gotta pay close attention. Are you ready? This next part, we are going to draw a giant rainbow. Are you ready? We're gonna start our rainbow at the bottom corner, okay? I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna make a rainbow all the way over Mary's head and all the way back down and connect it to the bottom side, okay? It's not gonna touch her head. The rainbow's not gonna touch her head. It's gonna go all the way around her. Are we ready? So start here at the corner, go up, 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 make that rainbow go all the way around her head, come down, 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 and connect it to the bottom. So now we've made a rainbow all around Mary's face and her body. The next part is you're gonna draw two little, almost rectangle shapes. These are going to be Mary's arms, okay? There we go. So now we have Mary's head, we have Mary's body, her arms, and we have, this is actually going to be part of her dress and this will make sense in just a moment. So the next part we're going to do is we're going to draw Mary's face. Remember, our face, we have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, okay? We're gonna put all of those items on Mary's face. So to make the eyes, we're gonna do two nice size circles and I'm gonna put a little black dot in mine and Mary is a girl, she's a woman, so I want to give her eyelashes. You can choose to give her eyelashes or not. Then I'm going to give her a little nose. It's like an upside, it's like a smile, okay? Like a little let, letter U. And her smile, Mary is a very happy person, so we're going to do a great big smile and put little lines on the end of her smile. And I'm not going to draw cheeks on yet because I think I'm actually going to use a different color to do that, okay? So, so far... We have Mary's body, we have her dress, and now what we're going to do is we are going to draw whoops, a little halo above Mary's head. And a halo almost just looks like a little circle above her head, 
And it shows that Mary is a very holy person and she's Jesus's mom. So Mary is very, very special and very important to our Catholic church. So we're gonna draw a halo, which is a circle, a flat pancake circle, like an oval shape over her head. And she's so happy because she is so loved by everybody, okay? Now comes the fun part. I have with me some different colors and you can choose whatever colors you want for Mary. Mary's favorite color is blue. Mary's often shown in, in videos or sorry, in statues and in pictures wearing blue. So we're gonna take a blue marker. Whoa. Okay, whoops. Sorry, boys and girls, are you okay? You just fell down, are you all right? We're gonna take a blue marker and we're gonna color in her clothes. Now remember, you guys always color much better than Mrs. Ferrara because sometimes I have to do things a little quicker than you, right? So you can color her whole body, you can color in her arms too, right? Her sleeves, you can color her whole body in like that, all the way down. I'm gonna choose a different color blue for her headdress, okay? I'm gonna go in with a different color blue. That's just my choice. You can choose whatever you want, okay? Color that all in. I am gonna do her lips. I think I'm gonna make red, and I'm gonna give her little rosy cheeks. And now we talked about how Mary is the queen, the mother of all of us, right? She's the queen of heaven and earth. So we can give her a little crown too, if you want. I'm gonna give her a crown of flowers. I'm gonna use a couple different colors here. I'm gonna give her a crown with lots of different flowers on it. And I might even actually put some flowers here in her hands. I'm gonna have her holding I think a rose, look at that, a nice long rose in her hands, okay? You can decorate Mary however you want, with whatever colors, whatever details you want. At the bottom of Mary, you are going to write the words, Mary is what? What do you think Mary is? Mary is sweet, Mary is kind, Mary is pure, Mary is Jesus's mother. You can choose that part. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see your final finished products. That's my Mary. I have some work to do to finish coloring her, but I hope you enjoyed. And I wish we were in person doing this, doing this in the classroom where we can see all of your amazing work. But for now, share it on VLE and I can't wait to see. Take care.